O sana ubwa. E mwo uwe kwe. E mi yano vya kwa lo. Igo. O kwea. Ama. Efe. Ye ya sa uwa. Ye ya sa uwa. E ya su uwa. E ya su uwa. E ya su uwa. E ya su uwa. So how are you enjoying the early morning dreams? Enjoying what? My whole body hurts right now. The drills are so rigorous. And you know I'm not used to this kind of hard life. Get used to it though. They are training you to become a strong Nigerian. It's an honor to serve your country. So? <laughs> because they want me to become a good Nigerian, I should kill myself. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Ah, I miss you so much. I miss you too. Don't worry yourself. Once I leave the camp, I'm coming straight to your house. How is your husband? Hmm. <laughs> uh, my husband is fine. He's not back from work yet. All right, Dad. Later. <laughs> Bye. Find your husband and you're so sweet this time. Jesus, I don't suffer. Who be this one? You don't know your mates. You they mad? Anyway, I don't blame you. Idiot. Because I hate you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just with that grade. I need to bring office work on. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do right there. I have to submit this report first thing tomorrow morning. That's not your own. You don't have time for your wife. Excuse me, sir. Why don't you give your husband a kiss before going off to bed? Why should I? When I'm going up there to an empty bed. Even if I bribe you? <laughs> you bribe me with words. The only bribe I need right now is you on that bed. The key to the jeep I got for you for your birthday. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, oh, come now. There is something I want to show you. <laughs> come, let's go. Uh -uh. Let's go. <laughs> Who is that? Blessing coming. I say good morning, Ma. Good morning, blessing. Happy birthday. Ah. Thank you. What would you like to eat this morning? Nothing. I'm really not hungry. Besides, you know, I'm watching my weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I almost forgot. <laughs> Even blessing. Remember. Blessing coming. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. No. <laughs> Daddy said I should wait for him to leave before giving it to you. Fred? Oh my god, he remembered! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're the best husband in the whole world. I'm very lucky to have you as my husband. I want to spend the rest of my life with You are everything good to me. My life, my joy, my happiness, my love. I love you so much. Mm-mm. 
Not anymore. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. I mean, crazily sexy. <laughs> You're so funny. Sexy. It's not funny. I think it's sexy and cute. A man who not only loves you, but wants your stability. Tell me. How many men buy a plot of land for their wives? Not to talk of land. You are very good lady. <laughs> That's okay. See who's talking. Your husband just got you a brand new gym. And if you ask me, that is really, really cute. Well, I appreciate it. He loves me. What if you ask me? I would have preferred a plot of land to any vehicle. But you don't see anything at all. Oh my god! You're, you're just. You're just so funny! Give to us! <laughs> uh, anyway. Why didn't you come with this one? No. Bring him away. Today is my birthday. And I want to celebrate it with my birthday mates. His father is on today. Then you have to. You thought I was joking. Welcome. Our husband, I want to thank you very much for taking good care of my dear friend. Uh, I should be the one thanking her. She's the one thanking her. Anyway, sorry about my gate man who kept you outside. Hmm? You must be tired. <sighs> Exhausted. Medigree leaves you hot and sticky. 247. I have kept our bags in the guest room. Okay, that's fine. Make something for her to eat. Okay, thank you very much. I will go and fresh up. I'll see you in a bit. See you guys later. <laughs> so nice to see you again. <laughs> you too. Baby. How long did she stay? Sunshine. She just arrived. I just think you asked. Question. Why do you dislike my friend? Baby. I do not dislike your friend. Okay? I'm just saying, I believe that three is a crap. I'd rather have just you and I in this house. Don't forget, we just got married. <laughs> oh, baby, what did you say? We just, we just got married? <laughs> oh my god. Baby, we have been married for two years. Yeah, but... Just... Privacy. <sighs> Now I get it. You think she's going to take my attention away from me? Right? You think that it's a problem? I'm bribing you. I'm bribing you. That's right. Okay. 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 I give up. I give up. What is very delicious? I know. My wife is the best cook. <laughs> oh 
I'm so ashamed of myself. I just hope you both can find a place in your heart and forgive me. I know I have really wronged you. Please forgive me for not coming for your wedding. It's just that Uju was getting married and you were also getting married at the same time. And everything was just choking me then and I couldn't make it. The heat was so much. And at that same point, I felt that I was a loser. I was not good enough for any man. Oh, it's alright. It's okay. I had long forgiven you. Hmm? I'm happy and I thank God that you've gotten back to yourself again. Hmm? Don't worry. When the time comes, we shall sure celebrate. Thank you so much. You're such a wonderful friend. So what are your plans for the future? I intend to get a job first. Then, by the special grace of God, a sunshine, just like my two childhood friends have done for themselves. <laughs> you know what? Tomorrow, let me have a CD, then I will share that with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sunshine. Okay. Anything for you? Now, can I enjoy this food? Okay. <laughs> You are the luckiest chick in this whole world. Why do you say so? Your husband is not only wealthy, but he dotes on you like you are the only woman on earth. You get everything you want. You don't have to lift up your finger to do anything at all. Money, Wealth, comfort, love, mention it. You have everything. Tell me, what else could you possibly ask me? A baby, a child to call me mother. Wake me up late at night. Suck my breast. 
my pride, my husband's joy. I would give up all the things you mentioned just to have my own child. It's okay. Children will come at God's appointed time. Hey, don't dampen this mood now. Let's toast to the next mother to be. Twins? I would toast to that. <laughs> So, the bid for the contract with the telecommunication company is becoming very complicated. And that's the same reason I keep saying we cannot go to sleep. We need to have all hands on deck so that we can win the bid. This company cannot afford to lose that contract. So we must work towards getting it. So should I send the proposal to the NDDC? Um, yes, that's a good idea. Uh, but uh, keep me posted on the feedback. From my end, I think we should introduce a new and more technical marketing strategy to flower our competitors. Mm. I will come up with the blueprint in our next meeting. Fantastic. That's a very good one, Charles. Very good one. I appreciate it. Um, I want to use this opportunity to thank you all for your professionalism and dedication to this company since the passing on of my father. I, uh, I must uh, applaud you, Lady Kinsu. Um, if there's anything, any issue you need to discuss, please feel free. My door is always open. Hmm? So, excuse me. Yeah, Ali? Okay. All right. Okay, um, just give me two minutes and then send her. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, is there any other business for the day? Okay, um, in the absence of any other business, I um, propose that uh, we adjourn this meeting. Thank you. Have a nice day. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. Awesome. Um, well, I hope I didn't speak to you this meeting. No, you did not. You're looking exceptionally beautiful. <laughs> really? Thank you very much for the compliments. Here. My CV and my commissions. Oh, okay. I'll go through them later. Hmm? Right. Right. Have you eaten? Uh, I hope not. Because I intend to take you out for lunch. That's very gracious. She had no excuse not to attend our weddings. I can never forgive her. Why would you talk like that? She's sorry about her evil act. We have to just try and forgive her. She needs our help now. Help? Anyone. You can give her all the help you want. 
But as for me, our friendship is over. She disappeared when we needed her most. But she was supposed to be your chief bridesmaid. So tell me, where was she? And what excuse can she give that would make sense? I know, but I have forgiven her. Sorry. It's just that both of you were getting married same time, same week, and I couldn't handle it. And at that point, I felt that I was not good enough for any man. And so you walked out when we needed you most. Tell me, have you not gotten yourself a husband? And why then did you? You've shown me just the kind of person you are. Oh, Ju. I am very sorry. Please forgive me. Remember that we grew up together. Attended the same schools. We had a lot in common. Please, my dear. The laughter, the beautiful moments we shared together. I don't forget all of that. Please. Forgive me, I'm very sorry. You made it look as if you meant something to you. Oh, Jill. She did hurt me too, but I let it go. You can do the same and let the anger go. True friendship doesn't die, but survives every. Please, I promise to be a good girl from now on. Remember that we used to be called the famous tears. Because what's up for me is loving my husband. 
and having children of my own. Hello! Hello! Loving your husband without a certain. <laughs> what does it mean? Oh God, Melody, calm down. Eh? When the time is right, I will personally school you on matrimonial excitement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, Melody. You see, when you find Mr. Wright and marry him, only then will you understand that shaking your bum bum is not enough to make him happy. Well, I do not know what your husbands tell you at home to make you happy. But I have met men. I have had contact with so many men. Count them. Good, the bad, and the ugly. I know men very well. Men love rockers. Men love women that can rock and rock and rock them till they scream harder. Men love their wives or their girlfriends to love them real hard. My sister, if you cannot give your husband what he wants, if you cannot rock him real hard, I bet you he will surely go out and look for somebody who can give it to him well. Hey, God forbid! Melody! Mm. You have a dirty mind, though. And when did she not? Anyway, <laughs> we know what's up. You don't know anything. I dare any girl to rob my husband. <laughs> Sorry for the gods. <laughs> Oh, do you want me to play music for you too? Hey, hey, hey! Okay, let's see if you can rock better than I do. Turn around now, turn around, turn around. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah.
love you too. Love? Why? Come, Melody. You thought you said you're not in any relationship. Yes. So, who are you loving over the phone? Well, it's um, it's an old friend, an old friend of mine. Just a friend or a lover? It's an old friend of mine. I met him a long time ago, but he's married now. No. Please do not do this. I mean, we don't have anything to do with him. Don't worry. Your own man will come soon. And please. Don't listen to anything he has to say. Okay? No! For what now? When there are young, handsome and single men out there. What would I be doing with someone else's property? Ha, please, I don't share. Please don't rush into a relationship. Just take your time. Go ahead. Please excuse me. I would want to get something from my room downstairs. No. Phoebe, are you really sure this girl has changed? Why do you say so? Because I don't believe what she said about not dating that married man. Why would she lie to us? Why would she do such a stupid thing like dating a married man? Desperation. I mean, if I can't get mine, then I'll take yours. Melody is not that kind of person. Yes, I know she's crazy with men. A married man? Still no. Anyway, if we say so. She has not been a serious person, even when people were in school. That is my point. You know she has this spirit of jealousy. Okay. And could be very envious. Always wanting to get something you have, at all costs. Phoebe has to be very careful. Putting that kind of girl in a house could be very dangerous, you know? You are right, my dear. You know her. She will not listen. I've tried talking to her. You know she has this large heart. She would go the extra mile trying to please her friends, even to her own detriment. That is very stupid. You mean I can go the extra mile to please anybody to my own detriment? I hope the way you're sounding, you're not planning to invite that girl over to this house. Not at all. No, I won't do that. You will not do that. But from the tone of your voice. I cannot invite someone like that into my matrimonial home. Okay? I should believe you. Believe me, come on, calm down. I thought you were not going to come.
bebé. 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 Sweating like this. Uh, sweating? Oh, really sweating. I'm sure it's the um, the stairs climbing up and down and all that. I, actually, I heard a loud noise, mm -hmm. and then I went to check, and then I also remembered that you told me that um, Blessing wasn't feeling too well, so I went to check on her. Oh, that's true. That's very thoughtful of you. How is Blessing now? No, oh, she's fine. She's uh, sleeping now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm all sweaty and sticky, okay? Let's go to the room. Mm -hmm. My baby, my baby, my baby, my girl, my heart. Baby. Breakfast is ready. I'm not hungry. Why? Why are you not eating? Hmm? Why? I'm not in the mood for any stupid question this morning. I am not hungry. Thank God. Baby, tell me. Is there a problem? What is it? What's stressing you up? Why are you ignoring me? Okay. You want to know what the problem is? You really want to? Good. My problem is you. You are my problem. Walk in here. And you ask me if I want to eat breakfast. And I simply answer, no. What do you do? You keep insisting. Why can't you give me my space? Just a little space. Why have you chosen to chop me? Just chop me. Why? Get your hands off me. Keep your hands to yourself. Baby. What has gotten into you? You're acting abnormal. Oh. Your family, your entire generation, are the ones acting. Your father! I won't exchange words with you, my husband. I won't. But whatever it is that is eating you up and making you act this way, trust me, it is not Oh, <laughs> advisor. I just have to call. Sorry? What did you What did you just say?
What happened? My husband almost strangled me to death. I... I know something is wrong somewhere, but I just can't face it. I can't. Just take it easy, okay? Men are like that sometimes. Just relax. I'm sure you will get back to your senses. You don't know my husband. Since I got married to my husband, even while we were courting, he has never used harsh words on me before, talk less of shouting at me. Suddenly he hits me. Don't... I don't know what's wrong. I just know. I just know something is wrong. I don't know where. How? <sighs> Maybe you annoyed him unknowingly. Not my husband. If I say or do anything that offends him or annoys him, we sit down and talk about it amicably. Don't you get it? My husband is a gentleman. Fred, the husband I married is a gentleman, not the brute I saw this morning. I don't... Oh, God. It's okay. Stop feeling bad, all right? Would you mind if I have a word with him? No, no, no. I don't think it's a good idea. When I mentioned calling his mom, whom he adores so much this morning, he just flipped. I don't even know what. Ah, I'm really sorry, my dear. I think at this point, all you should do is to take it to God in prayers. All right? You're welcome. Here is the layout for the Nikoli project. I've gone through everything. It's just perfect. <laughs> Are you alright? What is wrong? Something you can share? I think I'm losing my mind. Do you know I almost killed my wife this For no reason. Why? I didn't love her so much. That's the same reason. I know I love my wife very much. Same woman I love so much, I almost killed this woman. For no reason. That I don't know what I'm doing. I, 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 I just if I lost my mind. Don't tell me you've been sleeping with that melody. I warned you. Remember how she almost ruined your life in the first place? A girl that can go as far as sleeping with her best friend she has seen can poison your wife. When you have to be a man, tell her to leave your house. And how do I explain that to my wife? What do I say to my wife? What would be my reason for asking her friend to leave her house? The question here is, do you love your wife? If you do, Tell her the truth. Yes. Are you saying? I should tell my wife that oh, I have been sleeping with your best friend even before we got married. But were you well so? It sounds insane, but that is the right thing to do. Go home to your wife, tell her and apologize to her. And as for that devil who has come to destroy your marriage and steal your joy. 
send her to the abyss where she belongs. And you are worse. How could you be sleeping with another girl in your matrimonial home under the same roof with your wife? You know what, Fred? I need deliverance. Can you understand? Do you go understand? Nothing I don't go understand. Guy, be he good. Sorry, but not advice I give you. Eh? Family first. Be best for your family. Think about it. Okay. I love you, dear. I told you he would call and apologize. The apology is not the problem. The question is what happened to him. Since I've known him, I've never seen him like that before. Maybe you didn't give it to him as usual last night. You know, rough and hard. <laughs> Melody, you can never change. Must everything always be about sex? Yes! Everything is all about sex. Sex is a very important part of marriage. Marriage, yes. But that is not the only reason for the union itself. Na food. Na food, oh. Babes, na food. It can serve as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> mm. You need deliverance. I know, I know, I know. Oh my God! Philip! Look at you! Look at you! Wow! Good to see you! Yeah! You didn't even change, just a little bit fatter. Why, ah, you too! You didn't change. How's everything? Everything is fine. It's like you're now married. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's nice. And you, are you married? Um, let's say still certain. <laughs> I see. And who is this beautiful work of God? Oh, God. Forgive my manners. My childhood friend, oh. Melody. And she's still a single and searching. Oh, oh <laughs> just to announce me. <laughs> and um, by the way, meet Philip. We met during our NYSC days. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. The pleasure is also mine. You're beautiful. Thank God you're still sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I lent you travel to Canada. When did you return? Oh, yeah. I came back two weeks ago. I came for my sister's traditional marriage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you done picking what you want? No, actually we want to... No, no, no. I just remembered something. What's the basket? I'm coming. Hello. Hi. I love your hair. Thanks. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Are you not going to pick anything? Oh, uh, let's say I'm done picking. What else do I want here? Where have you here? Okay. Oh please! <laughs> I really want to get something jealous. Let me just put what I do myself. Oh okay. Thank you. Wow. I don't get you. I don't find that guy attractive at all. He is not my kind of man at all. I don't like him. I didn't say you should marry him. All I'm saying is just give him a try. A try? At my age, I shouldn't be trying out men. I know you want the best for me. But please, he is certainly not it. Not at all. And how do you know? First time I met Fred, I didn't find him attractive at all. But as time went on, you know, I... I began to develop this likeness for him. And see where we had today. Yeah. Phoebe, where we Philip are. is not Fred. He's not. He's not my kind of man. Pico, please. Oh. Okay, no problem. Oh. 
And then the soup is ready now. Okay. Have you people eaten? No, ma. All right, serve your food and that of the gate man so he doesn't fall or faint from opening and closing that gate, eh? <laughs> okay. okay, ma. So, madam, should I dish your food now? Do I look like I don't know when I'm hungry? Eh? Sorry, ma. Um, when you're done eating, set the thing so I can make that issue. Hmm? Okay, ma, I'll do it before I eat. Hmm, good girl. <laughs> Why do you make two different pot of soup? One is for the family, the other for my husband. He eats only what I cook. <laughs> you have power. Hey, hey, I was going to ask you. Why do you indulge this your house help? She is supposed to be calling you madam, not auntie. What auntie? Are you both related? <laughs> Melody. They are more like family, not slaves. Family. That means you do not know how to be a madam then. Thank you. I like it like that. Yes. Friend. Friend. What game are you up to? Eh? So you are not avoiding me? You are the one I should be asking what sort of dirty game you play. I love my wife and I do not want to hurt her anymore. I'm done with this. So it is now you want to tell me that you love your wife? Hm. Fred, don't dare this scorpion. Scorn me again and you will hate your life. Did you get that? I have not been the best of husbands to you. Baby, don't say that. You are. You're the most wonderful husband ever. I'm thankful for everything you've done for me. Even though I may not say it sometimes, but sincerely, I'm thankful. of you ladies were up to do. Okay. The gossip was mom asked me to be strong. Oh, 
Oh, oh, uh, it was really nothing. Well, well, actually, I uh, just wanted to tell you how much I love you. There's something I need to tell you. Okay, what's it? I have not been the best of husbands to you. Baby, don't say that. You are. You're the most wonderful husband ever. I'm thankful for everything you've done for me. Even though I may not say it sometimes, but Sincerely, I'm thankful. That's, that's not what I mean. Stop, baby. Stop. Look at me. You're my world. My life. My everything. Your mom was here earlier. She didn't call me. She's like, I can't see you. Oh, sorry. So, what was the gossip you ladies were after today? Okay. The gossip was mom asked me to be strong.
Why is he not picking my calls now? in my corner. Tomorrow, forget this thing. Forget this tomorrow. I'm here. I'm sent up for you. I will hold you now. Fred, are you, are you, are you watching this guy? What? What is wrong with you? You don't say anything. You don't say anything. You don't say anything. You don't say anything. You don't say Baba, 
My heart is broken. The man I love is under another spell. Okay, man, I'm sorry, eh? Is not the same woman you sealed up at home some time ago? Yes. But it's not working out. It is not working out at all. He is not even looking in my direction, Baba. Has he swam in your ocean of lust since you baited with that water? Yes. He has, but... There is no boss. You have to allow nature to take its course. The patient. Patience? Baba, did you say patience? I have lost patience long time ago. Baba, there is no time. Time is running out. What else do you want from a woman whose womb you have sealed up and deprived of motherhood? I want her joy. I want her husband to marry me now or never. I want anybody that stands in my way or mentions my name to fall down and die instantly. That is what I want. Then I don't have the solution you seek. I have done all I could. You told me he was yours before she stole him away from you. Or did you lie to me? No, I did not. He, he, he was going to marry me before, before she bewitched him and, and married him. Like I've said, if truly he's yours, he will come back to you. I sealed up a womb so that there will be no seed between them and it will come running back to you. But now I wonder why he's not. He is not coming because she is a witch. Yes, she has bewitched him. Baba, that is why I am begging you to please kill her. I know once she dies, he will start looking towards my direction. He will be mine forever. Please, please. Put your gear away, I am not a happy job there. I've done all I can. You are not a having job of debt. But I have been giving you my money and you've been collecting. I have been wasting my time on you. Okay? Bye bye, Akaya. Show yourself to me. Prove yourself to me now, no. Prove myself to who? You? You? A harshly like you? Go and wash your mouth. Before you burnt our words with the spirits. Disease. Disease from calling death's name. Else your name will become shame. Leave. Leave. Hmm. I'm still wondering why my husband won't let me walk. Do you lack anything? Would you? Why would you say that? Are you not working? Is this not your salary? But you know my husband is not financially comfortable as yours. If he says you should not work and takes good care of you, I personally do not see that as a problem. A woman needs to occupy her mind. I pray each day that God will bless my husband so I can be like you. And here you are, wishing to take my place. <laughs> Life is very funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how is your friend Melody? Oh, Melody is fine and out for the usual job hunt thing. That is good. I pray she gets one soon. Mm -hmm. So, how is Philip's advances on her work? I have tried everything I could. 
she doesn't seem to find Philip attractive. She wouldn't even give him a chance. That girl is not serious. Does she want to remain single? Or is Philip not charming enough? Hmm? Intelligent. Handsome. And comfortable. Hmm. Look, she's not telling us the truth. I think she's seen someone secretly. Why would Melody choose to see someone secretly? Maybe the man is not opposite. You remember she told us about one married man that was asking her out. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, Melody can't do that. What would she be seeing a married man for? I don't know, but I think there is something fishy here. Are you saying the charms I give to you did not work? The efficacy of my charms are never in doubt. What you sought, I gave. Yes, mother. I asked that Fred should have eyes for me. But then... Did he not? He did. But at the end of the day, he still went ahead and married that witch. Mother, you promised me that he was going to be mine alone, not for another. His eyes, I directed to you. But his heart which I have no control over, was directed by Osip Lover to your friend. What else do you want? I want him. I want him to be mine alone. She pretends she wants to help me, yet she goes behind me and mocks me. I want to take away all her happiness. I want to take away everything that makes her believe she's better than I am. That is what I want. Then his soul we will cage, but be warned, I do your bidding, not mine. Guard him with jealousy when he becomes yours. For if the bond is broken, chaos will your life finally become. Chaos is dead. Charles is actually dead. How? I don't know. Nobody knows. Baby, I know this is not easy for you. I understand how you feel right now, but please, you just have to try and relax, calm down. How can I calm down? How can I calm down? Charles is dead. Baby, I know, please, you just have to take control of your emotions. I beg you, please. Where's Melody? She went for the usual job hunt thing. Though she called hours ago to say she was on her way back, but stuck in traffic. Baby, I need you to do something. I want Melody out of this house. As soon as she gets a job. I don't understand. What's the connection between Melody's stay in this house and Charles's death? Baby, can you just do this for me? Can you just do something for me once in our lifetime? All I want is I want that girl out of this house as soon as she secures a job. Is that too much to ask? Whatever you want, you see, 
I hope you had a nice time with me. <laughs> yes, thanks. I would love us to do this again. <laughs> I really enjoyed your company. You have the smile of an angel. <laughs> and I know I can't stop thinking about it all day. <laughs> You're just very funny. Anyways, I have to go inside. I'll call you later. Oh, all right. Um, my regards to Phoebe. I'll show you. Excuse me. What are you trying to do? This is absolutely not necessary. You're rushing me. And I hate being rushed. Why are you doing this? I seriously don't like it. And with what you're doing, you are practically choking me. Mm. Then you should also allow me to feel the same way before you jump into my panties. What? <laughs> The lover boy just dropped me off. Where is he? He has driven off. He said I should say hi to you. Tell me everything. What did he say? What did you guys talk about? <laughs> there is nothing to talk about, my sister. He was just looking like one bushman. He could not even say anything. And after the meal, I told him to drop me off. I'm sure you must have chased him away with your bad bump. I beg leave that one. I am not interested in him at all. He's just looking for a free meal. I'm not available. Uh, naughty girl. Which one is free meal again? Eh? Sorry. Hey? Sorry I didn't come in to say hi. <laughs> Okay. Phoebe, your friend is a very difficult person. And I think she has the wrong perception of what my intentions are towards her. Mm, yeah, I know she's a difficult person. Uh, but what do you want me to do for you? I sincerely like your friend. And I know she would make a wonderful partner. If only she can just calm down. The stubborn girl is even here with me, Seth. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to her. But you know, you see, I have to do more of talking. One minute, she's cool and almost sweet. The next minute, she's hot and mad for no reason. All right, I think I have an idea. Don't worry, just take care of yourself. All right, bye. Later. <laughs> you guys are not serious. I do not like that guy. Simple. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. What is it? Have you been called up for a job? Far from that. The lover boy just sent me a lovely text message. 
moment I set my eyes on you, I saw my wife. My life I made a complete love shape. Take my hands and be my most precious friend. <laughs> Please, Melody, marry me. I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm beginning to fall for those sweet words. You like the words? Yes, I do. They are very romantic. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Don't tell me you are the one that composed this person's speech for you. Why would I do such a thing? Alright. Yes, at least to be sure that I'm not lying. I'm sorry. I actually composed the message for him. What for? Why do you have to do such a thing? Why do you really want me to date this guy? Why? Melody, I'm just trying to help out. Mm -hmm. Phillips is a nice man and he's really in love with you. Can't you say it? Philip is a nice man. If he was that nice, why didn't you marry him? My God. Why would you say such a thing? I'm just trying to help out. That's all. Well... You are making me seem as if I am an invalid. Why are you always doing this? I am not ugly. I can get a man for myself. That was how you walked in here the other day and mocked me about not being married yet. Melody, can you just calm down? You're getting everything twisted. No, no, no. I will not. I know when I'm being mocked over something. I will not date or marry someone else's afterthoughts. I won't! I will get my own man. Can I go downstairs to my room? What is it?
what evil are you perpetrating behind my back? What are you talking about? Do you want to willingly tell me the truth? Do you want to beat it out of you? Fred. You mean your body is lost? Give it to me! Jesus. Fred! Fred what? I said just give me the phone. Give me the bloody phone! Give me! And for your sake, what I was told better not be true. For your sake, pray. Fred, are you alright? What is the matter with you? It is true. It is true. Who did you send this text message to? Who did you send this text message to? Who is? Fred, are you okay? I'm okay. Am I okay? You cheat on me, and you ask me if I'm okay. So this is the reason you have refused to have any child for me. This is what you have been doing that has made you refuse to give me a child. The other jumping from one bed to the other. Give me my phone. Give it to me. How can you say such rubbish to me? Now talking You cheat me and you want to run. You cheat me and you want to rubbish. Now. Now. You will leave my house. You will leave my house. I will not stay under the same roof with an unfaithful wife. You cannot keep me and expect me to just sit down there and walk you. It is not possible. You will leave my house. You will leave. You will leave. You will leave, leave my house. You will leave. You will leave my house. Take your witchcraft. Take your faithfulness. Get out of my house. Get out. Get out. Get out of my house. I'll kill you. I'll just kill you. I'll kill you, Papa.
Dear God, please touch my uncle's heart. My auntie is a very nice woman. Remember her good deeds, oh God. And let her kind heart vindicate her. Holy Spirit of God, take control. <laughs> That Sister Phoebe is not aware of. I swear, Mama, that was all that happened. Nothing else I can swear. No matter what a woman does, it is not enough excuse for any man to beat her up. I did not raise a beast. Huh? If the new one, Frederick, has let now, he's hard to beat women. Then he will have to beat me up or I will beat him. I thank you very much for what you and your wife have done for me. I thank you for taking care of me. I really appreciate it, sir. My God will bless you more abundantly. And you will never lack. Your pockets will never run dry, sir. Thank you. And I also want to thank you for the money you gave me. I really appreciate it, sir. Sir, I have a gift for you. What kind of gift would you want to give me? I don't need any gift from you. It's a special gift, sir. It's a gift that you know. What's this uh, extremely priceless gift you want to give to me? Light that no amount of darkness can consume. It's the word of God, sir. Thank you very much, sir. May my God bless you.
sir, please. I have nowhere else to go, sir, please. You know, Madam brought me from Kano and she has been helping me ever since this, sir, please. Please. You are very, very stupid. Madam brought you from Kano. Sweetheart, please. You see the reason I cannot stay with these two under the same roof? They have to leave my house. Both of you have to leave my house. You connive and plan with that witch to kill me. <laughs> but your plans have failed. Your plans have failed. No, ma. No, ma. That is not what I meant, ma. Please. I am an orphan. And my mother, sorry. My former madam has been helping me. I don't have any other person. Please. Please. Shut up. Go in, pack every rag that belongs to you, and leave this house. I do not need you. Look at her. Sabutua. I don't need you in this house. And this is not an orphanage. Leave. Uh, Lim, it's okay. It's all. Listen. Sir. Yeah. Take. <laughs> Take. Uh, love and peace. These are your salaries. Although the month has not gone halfway, still the full salary. And I put something extra for transport for you to go back to your families wherever they are. Hmm? Thank you for your services. Oga. Oga, beg, make you try consider. New madam, no go feed the open that gate. I beg, make I stay here with you. Oga go kill me and my eight children. And my wife don't go stay carry but let me go make her die. You told me, Oga, since when God decided to punish me with children, thank you not punish me with your God. Oga. Amen. Amen, Oga. Oga, please. Shut up your mouth! How is that our business? Father of all nations! We are waiting where you were putting it! Eh? This one. Obviously, open gate for you. Okay. Oh God, God forbid. God forbid, Oga. Okay. What is that about this? Shut up! Both of you, you have an hour to leave my house. No, no, no! Stay there! Stay there! Don't go! 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 Don't you should go and meet your witch of a madam in the water where she is right now. You see this house? This house and everything in it belongs to you. Did you hear me? And if I come back, if I come back, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. What are you people doing in my house? Eh? And you? Idiots! Why did you allow these two up here? Madam, I tried stopping them, but. Will you shut up back your mouth? You try to stop them. Consider yourself fired. Would you allow every witch that flies past into my house? You are very stupid. I say you are very, very stupid. Who is the witch that your mother pointed out to you in a cover? Huh? Open that to your daughter again, you will be consumed with fire. Uh, uh, mom. Do not come into my house and insult my wife. Say what you came for and leave. And why did you bring this woman into my house? Oh, your wife is now this woman. Because of this dirty gutter rat. So it is true you charmed my son, eh? We'll see. Woman, woman, say what you came for. Oh, get out of my house. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fred. How can you talk to your mother in that manner? Hey, will you shut up that your mouth and leave my house? What house? My house. I will not bandy words with you. Because you are beneath me. You are the leech that sucks on others' blood. To survive. Oh, you will suffer. Yes. You will suffer. Yes. Except there is no God in heaven. You will suffer. I 
and you will cry blood. You will cry blood if I touch you. Oh, oh you have forgotten. If I touch you again, you will just die. So it is true. You threw your wife out of your house because of this sin. And you refused I, your mother, and your wife entry into your house for over a week now, Frederick. Because of this dead one. Old woman, if you want to die because your soul loves me, why don't you go and die? Eh? Yeah! <laughs> Out of my house. Mama. Get them out of my house. Mama. Mama. Take them out. Mama. Open, mama, down. Open. Mama. 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 See me, a woman I housed, a woman I clothed, a woman I fed. She's now my husband's sweetheart. <laughs> this life is terrible. How can men not be such a thing? Anyway, I've never trusted her. She's just an opportunist. All blame goes to my brother who allowed himself to get trapped in her devious way. But I need you. I told you that there was no good. I was driven by kindness. I was driven by kindness. I thought I was helping a sister and a friend. See me. See me. See me. Hey! Oh my god. How is your mother in law? How is she fell in love? Since we got her in here, no one has said anything to us yet. Everything will be alright soon. I know. Amen. She's lucky you brought her here just on time. We've been able to resuscitate her. Ah! Thank God. Thank you. Can we see her now? Oh no, that won't be possible. You see, she needs time to rest. She suffered a minor stroke. Stroke? She stroke? So... Oh my god, my god. Oh. Uh, like I said, she needs time to rest and be observed. Any other thing could ignite a major stroke. Don't be controlled by your lust. Keep your passions in check. If you allow yourself to satisfy your every desire, you'll be a joke to your enemies. You'll be a joke to your enemies. Thank you. 
Husband or make mommy stand up and walk. Just be strong. You do not understand. Both of you do not understand. Fred. Fred is my joy. A life without joy is dead. Let me just go and die. Please stop crying. Just go and wash your face. And I will get you something to eat. Life. At the center of life, all we find is selfishness, wickedness and betrayal. But don't worry. At the end, it will all pass away. Please stop crying, okay? Just a little feel on my heart. Thank you, Doctor. Um, if I may ask, is your husband out of the country? No, he's not. He is. I'm um, busy at the moment. Yes. Oh, I see. Uh, the results I have here shows that I eat what I expect you to I love 
bread. I love bread. I love bread. I love bread. Fred, where is my wife? Where is Phoebe? finish the work you started that almost sent me to my early grave. God forbid what? You almost killed me and you are saying God forbid. God does not support evil. Frederick, leave me alone. Leave me before I start shouting for the neighbors to come. 
please. Brother Frederick has been trying to beg you for over a week now. Please. He will beg for one year before I pay him to anything he has to say. Do I still have a son? A mother who has some bits is better off childless. Mama, God forbid. That cannot happen to you. People should stop saying God forbid to be obvious. Frederick, leave me and my daughter and my grandchild alone. Yes, my daughter Phoebe is in check. <laughs> oh my God! If you touch her and break your head, go and hug your new wife. Leave this on the low for me. Forgive him because you have loved him and still love him as a mother should love a child. Forgive him because you loved me as my own mother and have been there for me all through these years. Forgive him for the sake of your grandchild. Who makes a good father like your son is? Lastly, Mama, forgive him. Forgive him because I can't stop loving him. Yes, Mama, please. 